First Gucci and Prada. Now Katy Perry. The link for this article will be in the description. So, Katy Perry blackface shoes officially pulled from shelves. The shoes have officially been scrubbed from both Walmarts and Dillard's websites. Katy Perry shoe that is under scrutiny for resembling blackface is about to be yanked. TMZ has learned, and of course we know TMZ is who? The feds. Katie's got a whole shoe line for sale at retailers like Dillard's and Walmart, and a couple of her designs feature what looks similar to blackface, the rule face slip on loafers, and its high-heeled counterpart, aura face block heel sandal. Look at that. That is trash. Both, both of them are trash to me. The face shows shoes have two eyes, a nose, and red lips on them. And they come in two different colors, black and beige. The black one is problematic because it looks a lot like classic blackface makeup, which the fashion world does not seem to recognize time and again. The face heel sandals are also problematic, and K Katie's catching major heat for having the shoe on store shelves. Even singer Maseka Kalasha is calling for Katie to answer for this and on social media. So we just gonna let Katie Perry slide. Sources connected to Katie tell us this these specific shoes are just part of an entire line of shoes. She's designed and released and they were never intended to be offensive. However, we're told in order to be respectful and sensitive, the team is in the process of pulling the shoes. Okay, look at this. Let's get this straight. And it's just you can't be this ignorant or you can't be this dumb or you just or you just don't care do any of these people gucci prada Katy perry know the origin of blackface do any of you watching this video or reading this article know what blackface meant and what it still means to this day is the happy-go-lucky slave on a plantation I mean, the, the coon, the, the black coon, this was so degrading for black people until most of us tried to move on past it. But you can forgive, but you can't forget. And all this is is a resemblance of that. And Katy Perry and Gucci and Prada all are part, you know, of that secret society, that Illuminati shit. And they they would tell them they would force things on them that they have no control over, and sometimes they do. And I was telling one of my friends that eventually the elites will have a race war amongst uh, individuals because they're all evil. If they can't get what they want, they know how to manipulate the masses to get uh, anything that will give Satan control and power over them, which means, okay, we're going to ignite a race war. We're going to ignite racism towards this person or that person because this person is already under control. See, it's more deeper than what people think, but I'll keep it. <laughs> I'll keep it simple for you guys. This resembles blackface, hands down. Uh, if you want to sell a product, you should just make it something that doesn't resemble anything that's racist to hurt people just make something that's original and, and cool and funny or whatever unique by no standards i would make anything that would resemble anything of, of a racist um trademark you know it's just like me trying to sell burnt crosses you know um on my shoes, which represents the Ku Klux Klan, the KKK. I wouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? Or me trying to do anything racist. It just wouldn't happen. But uh, what do you guys think about Katy Perry with these damn shoes? Like this video, leave your comments. Well, these damn sandals. And subscribe.